Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the limited late models here at Knoxville ran the quickest time in practice barely not by too much track came in kind of worn in already it's not like super tacky a lot of grip on the bottom at least I'm happy about that it has a little bit of slick in it but the bottom's still gonna be the place to run right now just because these cars don't have too much motor in it you don't want to get too high up in the track in this tr uh at this track it, and anyways try to stay right along the bottom not get too sideways i let off a little bit try to keep it straight there which actually works pretty well don't know if i really sacrificed a lot of time three and four usually keeps more grip in it a lot more than one and two i messed that up though by getting on the curb don't know what my time is going to be like just push straight through the slick there. 260, that's not actually awful. That's not that bad. Let's see if we can try to improve on it here. Kind of push through one and two a little bit too much, but my three and four is definitely better. Let's see what we can get. 249, a little bit quicker. Almost got to the pole. As long as we are on the front row, I'll be kind of happy because uh, you can kind of make the outside work a little bit, I feel like, in one and two. Because people are going to probably push up and slide in one and two. But uh, at least I'm on the front row. I'll take that for now. Uh, I still got a couple people left to qualify, so we'll see where they get. And I'll see you guys back when qualifying is finished. And we fell down to third already. But uh, the bottom might not be that bad in the, the second row. All right, well, we stayed in third, which is fine. I think I could have gotten second if I didn't mess up both laps uh first lap i hit the like curb on the bottom then three and four probably lost a decent amount of time and then in the one and two on the second lap i kind of just slid through it and slid to the high side so that probably lost me a little bit of time my three and four was a lot better so i had a little bit faster of a lap so i think i can make the bottom work off the start hopefully get into second place maybe the six car will have a bad start we will see if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, hit that like and subscribe button so that way I know you guys enjoy this kind of racing. I really didn't have like any practice uh, before I did this race. I literally got home, jumped on, and pretty much loaded in and got like the few laps of practice in this session and maybe like three or four in the practice session before uh, the race was about to start. Good luck, on the inside here. It road is closed. So this track doesn't need a lot of practice at least. For the most part, I'm happy it was Knoxville. I was expecting it to be like a harder track, like a short, short track, but Knoxville is quite easy. Could get kind of boring in a way, but if you could hook the right line sooner than the guy in front of you, you might be able to get by him. Cause it's gonna be hard to pass for sure. Definitely gonna be tough to pass. But I think in one and two, the outside's gonna come into play a little bit. And then three and four, the bottom will probably stick pretty well the race in my opinion guess what i know of racing here before i think that's how it's usually going one and two kind of slicks off quicker you can kind of see the really light dirt down here it's getting a little slick you can drive all the way down here it's just hard to keep it down there at full speed we'll see what we can do need to get a good start though being behind the two car Hopefully the six has a bad start. We'll see how early the two goes. I imagine he's gonna try to go quite early. No, he kind of waited. I'm surprised by that. It kind of messed me up a little bit because I, I kind of started hitting it as soon as the uh, pace truck dropped. Try to keep it down here. Not gonna be able to stay to his inside there. He's gonna run the outside though. I'll take it. Because three and four is definitely quicker on the bottom. If I can stick to his inside off of this one and two, I should clear him off of three and four. Two car is kind of erratic up there. Kind of scared me. But he had a really good run on the outside there. tapping the brake a little bit just trying to stay down here this two car is gonna get himself wrecked <laughs> if he's trying to block both lanes 
I definitely feel a little bit quicker than him. I'm able to hook the bottom in one and two pretty well right now, and I'm happy about that. Kind of surprised by it, but I'll take it. At the moment, I can. I'm kind of sliding too much through three and four. But that might have been cause, just because of my angle going in the corner. Just trying to let off a little bit and keep the car straight for the most part. See if I can get a run on him going into the start of the next lap. Oh, he hit the curb too. That worked out quite well. Third starting spot didn't uh, hurt us that much. I thought it was going to hurt us a lot more. The two car was kind of uh, going crazy though all over the place as I hit the curb too. Kind of surprised on how well I'm hitting the bottom as I miss it there in one and two. Every other freaking lap I was hitting it pretty good. I'm trying to let off a little bit, keep the car straight to hook the actual grip down here. And if you do it just right, it works out pretty well. I'm turning in way too late there now. It's definitely still got speed for sure. I'm surprised on how much three and four is slicked off, like in, in going into three at least, because uh, coming off four, there's still a ton of grip on the bottom. You kind of have to go way low, almost get on the curb, which I wasn't trying to get that much on the curb, but I got so much of a gap, it really didn't matter at that point. I really messed that corner up. If somebody was right on me, I might've gotten spun. I tried to just barely clip the curb, like I did there in three and four. I do imagine this top side in one and two is gonna start being faster. I'm probably just gonna start running it next lap because it's really hard to keep the car down there. Straight, three and four, I'll definitely stick to the bottom. I'm really happy with uh, the decisions I made in the beginning of this race. The six car gave us the bottom. I took that, ran with it while there's still a little bit of grip and then the two car just messed up in three and four, and I went high to try to get a run on him at just the right time. He's starting to get some time back on me for sure. Just trying to run where there's grip, and there actually is a lot of slick out here. You kind of got to run a little bit higher to hit that grip. Yeah, he's really pushing it into uh, three and four on the low side. Inside. He's gonna try to throw a slider? I guess so. He went all the way up on the curb to throw that. He's gonna lose a bunch of time there. Literally cleared him. I'm going way too straight into that corner. It just did not turn for me. Imagine he's gonna do the same thing. Not quite. He's actually stayed at the bottom. I'm kind of surprised by that. Probably because three and four has a lot of grip on the bottom. I'm gonna try to like uh, get a good run off of this corner by the outside. Not quite the run I needed. This is a lot tighter of a race than I really expected for this uh, track. Like passing wise, I should say. Because this track really wore out a lot differently than normal. Because I feel like the groove widened out so quickly. I'm not sure if they changed something. I know I got on and there was an update. I don't know what the update was exactly. I know Mount Washington for the rally car got thrown in. But I'm not sure if any like tired changes happened or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really look at the patch notes to be honest. It just seems like this track widened out a ton. Really fast. Trying to go high and then get that grip off of, off of four. That worked pretty well because he got on the curb. He went super wide there. But he's keeping it straighter. Probably have a good run. He'll have a good run on the back stretch. I'm just trying to get the uh, straight run off of four going from the outside to the inside. If I need to do something to try to catch him. There's actually still a little bit of grip down here if you can keep your car straight 
and not get the curb. Because that's the main thing, is not getting the curb. Because that guy behind me is uh, doing decent on the bottom. He's not really like, catching me at this moment. So I got some room to play, try to catch the two car. I kind of fell off with the track uh, when it started transitioning really quick. It transitioned a lot faster than I'm used to, in these cars at least. It kind of transitioned quickly like a uh, sprint car would have, I feel like. Ten laps to go, okay. Really need to just hit my marks. I try to let off going in, it's still just like kicking out on me, um, the right rear, getting a little bit too much in the slick it feels like, and just turning around. I blew that one. I'm just getting into three awful. Like, my entrance going into three is way too wide. I need to just do the line I was doing, going high and then trying to cut low. That seemed to be working better for me. There's grip up there, there's kind of grip in the middle, and then there's a lot of grip off of four. And the guy behind me caught me a ton doing that. Like, me doing that and him running the bottom. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but this this definitely changed from the last time I ran the limited late models here, I feel like. Because you really got to hook the bottom in three and four. One and two is just, I, I'm surprised we're running this high and keeping the speed. Because the bottom's so thin, I guess. And three and four just has the grip if you hit it. You just have to hit it right. I'm out of the gas for so long, it just feels awkward. That was not a bad one and two, to be honest. They're probably gonna get a run on me going down the straight, but I feel like I got some time in the corner. If you could just hit it right, that's the hardest part, is actually keeping your car down here. Two car tried running it, he hit the curve, went up the track, I definitely gained a bunch of time on him there. If I can keep this up in one and two, I might be able to catch the two, just might. Not if I hit the curve like that though. If I hit the curve like that, I won't. Gonna have two laps to go this time by. But yeah, this track definitely uh, widened out a lot faster than I expected, or than I'm used to. But the sprint cars definitely tear up a track really fast. These cars usually don't. At least not this bad. Wow, he went outside in three and four? That's weird. Four car behind me is catching me really quick though. Riding that curb there. Should be able to have second though. Good. Yeah, good. Good, good win. I was able to get by him early on. I'm surprised I was able to get by him early on. Yeah, qualifying definitely hurts if you uh, get a bad spot. I'm surprised that we did so well though. Uh, starting in third because I really thought I was gonna get swallowed up from people on that higher side But it was actually a pretty clean race overall Watch the beginning of this buddy. again Where did the four car start? He started back in eighth. Damn. He was flying up through the field Right here. I'm surprised the six went to the outside in three and four I really thought he was gonna go to the low side and that's what just helped me get by him for the most part You really got to hook the right along the bottom in the beginning it seemed like the whole race, there was still that slight strip along the bottom. If you can get your car down there, it was fast. The outside in one and two is definitely easier to run. And it pretty much stayed even and kind of pulled away on the back stretch. The two car was just kind of really erratic in the beginning, but he really settled down after about like 
seven, eight laps. Once I got in front of him, the two car settled down. And then he's like, all right, I need to focus up, apparently. Because <laughs> I, was, I was giving him a run for his money in the beginning. I was kind of scared of him right there because I'm like, he's trying to block both lanes before we're coming up on him. Like, we were catching him side by side. But good, clean racing overall. I didn't really see any wrecks. I never saw any lap cars. Lap cars were still a little bit ahead of us. Never really saw them. I just saw them on the relative. That was it. And then where'd I get by the two car? Because I ran a really good first, like, ten laps. Something like that. And then it started wearing out, and I don't know what the hell happened to me. I went to shit real fast. I was doing the same thing the two was. I think I got too erratic real too quick. Like, it just happened. I had a good run on him there. I went high to try to get a run off the corner. He hit the apron and goes flying up the track. I get a great run down the straightaway. He kind of just conceded the spot there. Seems like I was able to stay ahead of him on the low side. He had a good run on the outside still. But being on the outside in three and four that early wasn't good. I actually pulled a little bit away and then I just screwed it up. I screwed it up so quickly. Because I pulled kind of a bit away. Two car was uh, still all over the place. Oh, what happened to him there? He like got all out of sorts going into that corner, it looked like. Because he lost a ton of time going into one. I don't know if he skipped the wall. Oh no, he just went super high. Okay, yeah, he lost a ton of time there. Gained it back down the back stretch, and then I just wasn't as fast as he was. I guess going high that early really worked out for him. He was going super high up there, though. Like, he was going way up into the grip, which you did not need to go that high. He didn't do it here until, like, halfway through the corner. But he was going, like, a really high into the grip, which usually doesn't work very well. They, they had to have changed something with the update that happened. I don't know, because usually you don't go that high. If you go that high with all of your tires, you kind of just start sliding up. He threw a slider here, hit the apron. He just went flying back up the track. I had a good run back by him. I really screwed up this corner. I just like slid straight up. It just was not turning. I had a really bad entrance. I thought he was going to throw a slider again here, and then he didn't. He just like really got right along the edge on the bottom and had a good run. Like if you could hook that bottom, it was fast. I put myself in the wall a little bit, slowed me down, and then that outside in three and four just isn't as fast. Kind of got a run down the front stretch, but after that, he was just kind of, he kind of just checked out after that. I was trying to run a little bit lower than him in one and two, but he just went so high. Usually before you would just start sliding. I just tried to get my right rear in it, but he was getting so much grip doing that, which is just odd. A lot different than normal, I feel like, but hey, I'll take that. Uh, started third, clean race the whole way. Good fun, good fun, uh, clean race overall. I'll take that all day. Finishing second, car number one. Should still gain a little bit of I rating. Two car won it. Good race to him. Great racing. Good clean racing overall. Uh, and... I don't really see, yeah, everybody finished on the lead lap, so there wasn't any wrecks, didn't seem like anything really happened, so four car just flew up through the field, he was just flying up through everybody, he was already in, what, fifth after a lap, Let's see his start, three wide in turn one, he's just going straight through the middle, three cars on the apron, two wide here, four car just flew up through the field, if he would have had a better starting spot, he would have had a shot to win for sure. Because he was uh, running right along that bottom as good as we were up there. He was definitely catching me there at the end as well. I was trying some things, trying to catch the two car, but it just wasn't happening. But four car, flew up through the field, finished third. Great race by him. I'll take a second place finish, like I said, and a clean race. So let's go see what we end up getting out of this one. All right, results are in. Strength of field, 2300. Not a bad strength of field overall. There was two different splits. How many people were in this race? 11. So there was about 21. I think there was 21 people that registered. 21 to 22. We ran the quickest uh, lap of the race, lap four. That was when we started catching the two car. I think we were still side by side with the six at that point too. So running that, running the fastest lap while side by side with somebody, it's kind of interesting. But hey, I'll take 24 I rating, favorite number. I love that. Uh, almost up to 4,300. I don't know if I've been up to 40. I think I've been up to 4,300 one time. I don't think I've been up to 44 at all. So slowly climbing our way back up, trying to get as high as we can. Uh, two car gained 20, 66. I also said 26. No, he gained 66. He gained a lot. But uh, a lot of people have ran this race already this week, it seems like. Uh, a lot of people getting lower 
champ points than they have in a previous race. That's what the uh, red number means here for the champ points, if you didn't know that. Uh, if they if it's grayed out like that, that means it's the highest they've had this week. But if it's red, that means uh, they've had a race that's gotten higher. But the champ points work kind of weird, depending on how many races you do. It takes like an average of how many races you've done. Like, it, it takes a weird, I don't know exactly. If you've done one race, it takes that one. If you've gone one through three, it still takes your highest, I think. And then once you've taken four, it'll average your highest two. Something like that. And then the more races you do, the more complicated it gets in my head so i don't really care about champ points to be honest i just see what it is towards the end of the season don't really care too much though but i like a clean race like that that was fun uh i'm happy i did decent starting third and just getting home and jumping right on from work so uh did pretty decent happy with how we did wish i could have ran down the two car there at the end he definitely had some speed uh when he started catching me running up really high i don't know if they changed something let me know if you guys read the patch notes or anything from wednesday it was i believe when they added mount washington because i got on today on thursday and did the update so don't know if they changed a little bit of uh, the dirt kind of grip because uh he was running quite high in one and two compared to what we used to and he was keeping that grip up there usually you would kind of slide when you get up to more grip because it's kind of just like loose gravel so uh, or loose dirt up there and just kind of slides all over the place but it was a clean race overall uh one two x through the whole race i figured that the, i knew there had to not been too many uh, incidents because nobody wrecked and everybody finished on the lead lap which is a miracle so uh one two x through the whole ra uh whole field and everybody still gained safety except me because i have max so i'll take that good clean race love that but appreciate you guys for watching as always let me know how your guys races are going this week uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the racing and i'll catch you guys in the next one